So with regard to where does polycystic ovaries come from? Does it have an origin? Uh, is there a cause for it? Is there an infection or a virus causing it? The answer is we don't know why some girls have polycystic ovaries. What we do know is that it can run in families. So we have girls whose mothers have had it, sisters have it or cousins have it. We also know that being overweight can contribute to it. So obviously the next question I will be asked is, Doctor, what is the treatment for this condition that I have? There is no real medical treatment for this condition. The main treatment lies in lifestyle changes. So the answer would be loss of weight, exercise and a good healthy diet. So these are the three most important things that a girl can do for herself in order to keep her polycystic ovaries in check. Now, one of the problems that the girls face is that losing weight becomes a bit of a challenge, especially because of the hormone imbalance. But that doesn't mean that it cannot be achieved. It can and will be achieved, but they need a bit more support than somebody else without polycystic ovaries. So the important thing to take home is, one, polycystic ovaries is a condition that is there. Can it be cured? The answer is no. Can it be kept in check? Yes. And can this be done with medication? The answer is not really. The treatment for this is in your hands. Basically, lifestyle changes by way of exercise, diet and loss of weight. So these are the important things to remember when we talk about treatment for polycystic ovaries. One of the other medications that we use is called metformin. Metformin is a drug that is used in diabetics, but it's also used in polycystic ovaries in order to uh, balance out the imbalances in the hormones that occur with polycystic ovaries.